guy riding through a neighborhood he doesn't really need to be in in a high risen truck with a super giant, you know, like flagpole sized American flag. And I'm sure he's blasting music like, Woo! you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, for these same people who are always like so proud of their freedom or, you know, whatever it is they say, as if there's no other countries in the world that experience life like we do, if not better in many ways, you know, like being able to go to the emergency room for horrific, you know, circumstances and not literally being charged an arm and a leg for it. Um, you know, but then those same people are all totally insecure about, you know, everyone rushing in like World War Z zombies into the country. You know, we got to get these Mexicans and these Central Americans up out of here. We got to cut all these welfare programs. We got to, you know, basically just go backwards in time because, as we all know, the further back in time we go, the more free everything was, right? Yeah, exactly. Because it's like, you know, you're, you know, MAGA 2024, you know, if he even makes it that far, but, you know, he probably will. But if he does, you know, it's just like, okay, well, what's he going to run on? What are you guys really concerned about? I'm sure you could, you know, you definitely love to see your wages go up. Well, that certainly isn't happening under the Trump administration or any Republican administration as they're fundamentally against that. You know, you got to work, you got to work your way into a position where you can basically siphon it from, from those beneath you, you know, that's climbing the ladder to them. Uh, you know, I'm sure they'd love to, you know, who isn't a, uh, with the idea of corporations paying higher taxes? Well, I don't even need to go into how that's not going to happen. You know, improving access to health care. Republicans talked the entire time Obama was in office. It, 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 so so what exactly are we talking about here? In, in addition, so it's like nothing. It's just the giant flagpole. That's all it is. You're riding around the neighborhood with the giant flagpole and that's like totally what's the biggest of deals to you mm. oh, okay Trump 2024 flag and i don't know what this oh come and take it what a bum that video in a lot of ways was just the epitome of what the republican party is and what right-wing conservatives in this country are you know just constantly sticking it to the liberals owning the liberals because that really was rather pointless they had that plan they put all that together to get that done to record it to get views online but what did that really change about anything? Absolutely nothing. I'm sure people, if they saw it, they probably just rolled their eyes and went about their day, nothing major. But, you know, again, you look at people like Lindsey Graham, who yesterday introduced, you know, talking about introducing a 15 week abortion ban nationwide. And he actually said that he doesn't think that this is going to hurt the party. He thinks it'll hurt Democrats to go against it. It's like, Nah, bro. You, I mean, it, literally the reversal of Roe v. Wade is actively tanking the Republicans' future. It's actively tanking your results. And for you to say that you don't think it's going to hurt y'all, again, it just they don't live in reality. They don't care about it, but they will do anything necessary to shape whatever they believe is right, which is why we have to out-organize them and out-work them, like I always say. But again, this just really captures what they're about. A whole bunch of nothing.